In this video, we'll demonstrate how to correctly gaff down leads. Here we'll be using a single lead. Always check that you're using the right colour gaff and that you're permitted to tape to that surface. Leads need to be gaffed down when they are a potential trip hazard. Take the gaff and tear off a small piece. This is called a tab. Place tabs every metre or more apart, wherever the cable may need it, such as corners. There are easy and difficult ways to gaff cables. We'll first demonstrate the difficult way, which should be avoided. Where possible, run a continuous strip of tape along the portion of cable which is the trip hazard. This looks neater, as there are no tape joints. With this first run of tape, we'll demonstrate an awkward method of taping a cable. The correct length is measured, but the beginning of the tape has not been secured at the starting point of the tape run. If the tape is not stuck down at the starting point, you run the risk of the tape sticking to itself and then having to re-measure the strip. Sometimes gaff can be difficult to rip. Never use your teeth to rip it. Ripping gaff is a skill that will require practice. The first run of tape must be stuck down slightly to the side of the cable. Run your hands along the strip, making sure the gaff is fully stuck to the surface. With the second strip, the tape is correctly secured at the start point first and then ripped at the desired length. This tape runs slightly to the other side of the cable, so that you now have a decent amount of tape on each side of the cable. Multi-leads. Gather all your leads so that they run next to each other and are flat. The cables must not overlap each other. Follow the same method for tabbing multiple leads as you would for a single lead. If you make a mistake while tearing tape, discard it, then start again. This time you may need to use more than two lengths of gaff to fully cover the cables. These two methods are what you would use to secure cables in high traffic areas, such as doorways and walkways. If the door is sufficient height to move over cables taped in this manner, this is the method of taping you should choose. If the door doesn't have sufficient clearance, the cables will have to be taped around doorways. We'll demonstrate this later. Now let's look at it from a bird's eye view. See here how to use your fingers and hands to press the gaff down on both sides firmly. Now we'll look at gaffing near doorways. Once you've tabbed the lead along the wall, you'll notice that depending on which way the door swings, the door can't pass over the lead. Even if the door is not being used, this could be hazardous in an emergency. At this doorway, we'll create a fake corner so that the door is easily able to swing open. Start by tabbing it out. If you make a mistake while tearing tape, discard it, then start again. Go along like we've seen already and gaff down the lead using two rows of gaff. Don't try to bend the gaff around corners.
Once you've secured the gaff on the floor, make sure that the door is easily able to swing open. Removing gaff. When removing gaff from the leads, always pull the gaff directly off the lead first. Don't pull the lead up. Use your foot to keep the lead on the ground while removing the gaff. If you try removing gaff by pulling up the lead first, in most cases the gaff will fold itself around the lead. This can be difficult and time consuming to remove. However, if this was to happen, there's a simple method to remove it correctly so that the lead isn't damaged. Never attempt to use a sharp object to remove the gaff, or you may damage the lead. Instead, make a tear in the gaff to the lead, and once this is done, you can then easily strip away the remaining gaff on the back of the lead. Here are two examples. 